the white faces of noble men and noble women in the Heian period, applying white powder made these white faces. In Japan, the white powder is called Oshiroi. Oshiroi was imported from Japan to Japan during the Nara period. Oshiroi was mainly used by aristocratic women. Even after the diplomatic relations with Tan were lost, the demand didn't disappear, and Oshiroi was produced domestically. There are various theories as to why Oshiroi caught the heart of Japanese aristocratic women, like because in the Heian period it was better to hide the bare skin as much as possible, because Oshiroi made it possible to see the face even in the dark night without electricity. By the way, also Kabuki actors in the Edo period had their faces painted white so that they could be seen even in the dark theater. Because it was one of the three colors of white, black and red that are said to be beautiful in Japan. The hair is a period with relatively few walls. It seems that many more artistic and cultural aspects than being macho when it is peaceful. So in the Heian period, it was better for them to shave their beards, and men of aristocrats came to wear Oshiroi like women. There is a saying in Japan that the white skin had many faults. This idea is not unique to Japan, but in Europe after the Middle Ages, makeup that looked like a pale tuberculosis patient has become popular. Women's cosmetics sometimes contain harmful ingredients. Oshiroi in the Heian period was also mixed with lead. In pursuit of beauty, the fact that life spans are shortened and health is compromised has been made the same today and in the past. Steroid, plant fitting heels, low calorie sweeteners, liposuction, and plastic surgery. The only difference from the old days. Maybe that you can find out in the bath what can be harmful to your health.